You ever get the feeling you're being watched? I do just about every morning. Hey, Ja. Hey, Ja. You know where you're going today? You're going to Pollyanna's. Well, good morning, gang. I got my shower, I drank my coffee, I ate my eggs, and I'm getting ready to take Ja over to Pollyanna's house because he's going to hang out there for the day while I go work. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog today. This is a little bit different one, and I'm guessing based on the age group that watches my vlogs, you're probably not going to know what this is, and you may not even care. But um, this is something that is pretty much my childhood. Uh, my fifth and sixth grade year, we're going to Bayside High later today. So I'm going to drop jaw off, get ready, head down to work. If there's anything I can show you down there, I will. Then you're going to Bayside High, the home of Zach Morris. Here's the thing. I actually bought my airline ticket last night. I finally got it to go through. Thank you, Expedia. Thank you for being the one site that actually worked. So I will be taking off on July 26th, arriving in Sweden on the 28th, and I'll be flying back on, I think, August 8th or August 9th. So it's basically like just under two weeks. So, so that'd be a good trip. And Michael's getting married. I got to be there. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now! Well, he's definitely ready to go. Well, we just shot through like the USC area and we're going downtown. And to be honest, one of the things I love about these kind of odd jobs that I do is that they send me to all parts of the city. So I kind of get to see parts of the city that I might want to vlog or check out at some point. So there is that the plus side to that. It's never a good sign when you show up to park at the place you're supposed to park and all the parking spaces are gone. Look at my beautiful view today. The good news is that it sounds like they, uh, the first call of today was 5 a.m. and mine was 10.30 a.m. so they're probably done with like two out of the three things they gotta do today which is good. I'm just supposed to be in a brief uh, business scene with two other people. So this might not be all that bad. And for those of you wondering, um, they called me about my surgery for the tumor in my hand. That's gonna be happening on May 26th. They don't know the time yet, but they called me yesterday evening, like seven o'clock or something, and said that they got everything ready and that it's gonna be May 26th. Welcome to the Pacific Palisades and today we are going to do one of my all-time favorite shows ever, ever, Saved by the Bell, Zach Morris's house. Now they only showed his house a few times for establishing shots throughout the years but um, I was able to find the address and I'm telling you like there's a lot of shows that I loved watching growing up. Uh, but probably none made me want to be an actor more than this show. I just wanted to be on this show like I wanted to be Zach. I just loved everything about it. I thought, like I was really into it when I was in sixth grade and I really thought that junior high and high school was going to be like that and of course it was not. But it was awesome. I mean, when I was a kid, I got to meet Mario Lopez at a car show, and he was really cool. And um, it's one of those shows I always loved. I don't know. I think it, so many kids in my generation could identify with it. And uh, it's kind of weird to see what happened with all the kids, their careers. I mean, uh, Jesse went on to be in Showgirls. Um, Mario Lopez, who played Slater, went on to become like the host of everything. Mark Paul Gossler, who played Zach, was in, has been in tons of movies, tons of TV. And Lisa Turtle, Lark Voorhees, who like was my crush for two years, seems to be schizophrenic and doesn't, isn't able to act anymore. Screech, 
is out of his mind. And I remember I looked forward to every single Saturday morning to see what kind of clothes Zach was going to wear, how, how they were going to change his hair. What kind of shoes he was going to wear, and uh, that was actually when I first got into style, was watching that show and wanting to uh, dress like that. And there it is, Zach Morris's house. Every once in a while they'd show that upstairs window and the loft and... Man, you just felt like you were here. So many of the show scenes, of course, they were all done on a soundstage on Sunset Gower. But you just, you, you believed you were in there. And uh, it's so cool to finally get to see it where Zach Morris would have lived. And I thought what might be fun would be uh, to walk around the neighborhood a little bit and kind of imagine what Bayside would have been like. And, uh, you know, where Lisa Turtle and Kelly Kapowski would have lived. Not a whole lot I could do for this vlog because they didn't really show, you know, everything was always done on a set, except for the season where they, where they worked at the, uh, like the beach hotel, and I'll probably vlog that also at some point. Um, but yeah, they just, they would show that shot every once in a while, and so that's really the only, only thing saved by the bell we have to go off of, other than, you know, like I said, the, the beach hotel, but also, I believe it was the episode where they, um, they go get married in Hawaii, Kelly and Zach go get married in Hawaii, I believe that episode they actually, um, Zach pulls up in his, I think it was like a, it was a 4 by 4 like a blazer or a Cherokee or something like that, in front of the uh, Pacific Palisades High School. And that is uh, meant to kind of act as uh, Bayside High. Now I know a lot of people that watch my channel probably have no idea anything about this show, but like I said, it was a big part of why I wanted to become an actor. Um, a big part of what solidified me to coming to Los Angeles, like, I know I've told you guys that my plan was always, once I got into Appetite for Destruction as a kid, I just always knew I would live in Los Angeles. But then this show solidified it because it was filmed, <laughs> like, a handful of blocks away from where I live now. And I've looked and looked and looked, and I've never been able to find what stage number they filmed it on because... Sunset Gower, the uh, studios they filmed it, it, is one of the few studios that I've worked on on the lot that doesn't have a plaque outside the stages telling what was filmed there. So there's really no way of knowing, but this is as close as I'll ever get to probably doing a decent Save by the Bell vlog. Now I'm pretty sure occasionally they would show like in the establishing shot of the house, they would show Zach kind of walking by it or walking in really briefly. If I can find one of those or I can snag a screenshot of that, I'll include it in this vlog. But I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and I'm gonna walk by at the house one more time. And just imagine that would, would have been Zach's basketball hoop. See the Santa Monica Mountains straight ahead? Look at that place. Well guys, I'm wrapped. I've literally sat around being walked to different locations all day for nine hours. Only for them at the end of the day to say, and we decided to cut your scene. We're not gonna use you today. You're you're free to go. Well, I'll tell you folks, this has been one of those days that I just, I literally can't wait for it to end. This has been an absolute waste of a day. It's been boring, it sucked. 
And the only good thing about it is I was supposed to get this on Friday and it came today, so that's awesome. Jaw's still over at his uh, buddy's house because they're busy doing something. So I think he's going to be back later tonight. So I'm going to get uh, some uh, street clothes on and I'm going to run over to the pet store and I'm going to buy Jaw the Jaw equivalent of a birthday cake because tomorrow is not his birthday, but the 28th is. All right, I've got a windscreen, I've got a new microphone. At least one thing's been good today, that. All right, gang, thanks for sticking with me today. This was a crap day. I did not enjoy today. Yesterday I was all happy, I was gloating about how much fun I had. Oh my God, this was a great day. This one, I paid for it today, big time. And I'll tell you what, I made a massive omission in yesterday's vlog that I didn't even realize I was doing. Leonard sent me a text tonight and said, uh, buddy, and what his sentence said next is what we're going to do for the vlog tomorrow. So I can't believe I messed this up. I can't believe what I did, but this is the way vlogging goes. Sometimes you do things, sometimes you are somewhere and you don't know where you are, and sometimes you stumble upon gold and sometimes you don't. So tomorrow I think I'm going to go fix what I messed up yesterday and uh, I'm also going to be posting my thank you vlog tonight that I told you guys about last week. So that will be uh, posted up if you're the kind of person that uh, doesn't want to hear me thanking a handful of people that uh, are kind of a big part of my channel or have helped me get my channel to where it is, um, then don't watch that. I don't want you to be all upset and ruin the rest of your night or ruin your whole day. But if you're somebody who kind of wants to see who I'm thanking, that video is for you. And your name might be mentioned in there because there's quite a few people mentioned in there. So have a great night, Lionhearts. I told you guys I have to work tomorrow, and I actually have to work in Thousand Oaks. And I found out what I'm doing. Sort of. It's a party for the LA Rams. So I can't tell you much more than that. I don't even know what I'll be able to videotape, but I'm going to hit our vlog on the way out there. i got to be there at 345, so... Probably going to be a short day, probably a shorter vlog, but uh, I know you guys appreciate every effort I make, and that's why I make the effort. So have a great night, guys. I love you, and good night.